Some nice trades in soybeans in the 200K portfolio. You see soybean swing. You have three out of four. There's a short. There's a long trade and then um, two shorts in a row. And so short today, short overnight. The tariff news, the farmers are taking a bit of a beating on their soybeans crops. Based on the tariffs, um, the algo's got the short side. Here is a short trade on Grains Day Trader 3. And quietly um, doing well this year. Um, this is a soybeans day. This is a soybeans day trade three strategy just in 2019, and you see the results here. And this is in the 200k portfolio. This is a strategy we've had around a very long time, and so it's kind of gone sideways um, for several years. It hasn't done that much. Volatility has been lower, but um, kind of breaking out to the upside here on soybeans day trade three. So we like that in the 200k portfolio. That's why we have it for diversity. Um, Cobra Euro 4, some other trades today, just for today's trades we're focused on, um, is Cobra Euro 4. Um, had a loss yesterday at the end of July, a nice bounce back today. And Cobra Euro 4. Um, ES Night Trader, got the long trade today after getting stopped out yesterday. A big reversal in the market today on the tariff news. Adaptive moving average, which is traded in the stock index, it was long. Rolled over to the short side, it's showing a profit on the day because it was short, then long, and now short. And so kind of break even in here, but this move down puts it in the profit zone up, up about 20 points on the day. And so these are the trades in the 200K portfolio. Uh, looking for some volatility in August. We can already see it after yesterday's trade and then carrying into the day. Uh, the Bulls thought they were going to get away with another slow rise, uh, re a mean reversion rise into the Friday close. Um, you see that here. Market got slammed on FOMC News. They're going to, their goal was to bring it back. Bad economic news. The Fed's going to cut rates again. Let's bring this back and slowly make new highs as we go into Friday. Uh, jobs report's coming out tomorrow, though, so... Uh, that might add some volatility, but the tariff news uh, took out these lows. Who knows, they might try to bring it all the way back now. And either way, it's going to provide some more volatility for us instead of that slow grind into the uh, Friday high close. And um, so trading opportunities are here in August and looking, looking at this from all our portfolios and the opportunities that we have here. Uh, and this is just the first day of August, and so looking forward to the rest of August.